We got a little bit of rain and the garden started producing. Look at all the beans right there. All those can be all ready to be picked and harvested. You just boil them, throw them into a pot of water and boil them. There's some of the snap beans we just picked. Show me your bucket there. They've already emptied them in the Okay, bowl. they've already emptied them. And we got another bucket. No, they've already emptied them in the bowl. They're all in there. Another bucket over there. Okay. Joe's, picking up <laughs> Joe's over there picking Joe. on the... <laughs> He's picking leaves and everything. No, Joe, not the leaves. No, we don't want to pick the leaves. Just the little bean part, Bubba. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Potatoes are still doing pretty good. Corn's coming up nicely. Let's go over and check on the squash and zucchini. Yep, we're going to give that squash just a couple of more days. Let it develop a little bit more. Yeah, so that zucchini's ready to pick right there. That's perfect. Let me get my knife out. We'll go ahead and pick both of them. Here, take the camera. Is it recording? Yes, yeah, it's recording. So the zucchini, you just take down there. You've got to be real careful not to damage the plant. Just be real careful not to damage the plant. And there we go. We got fresh bulbs coming yep. everything. Too. Got a couple of more coming up. Now you're supposed to be able to eat these flowers off of here also. Let's say we got some squash over here. That's squash yeah, that's ready. that's ready. Be careful not to. Maybe, maybe. Got a lot coming on this yeah. one. Yeah. It's good. Look at it. Alright, this one's still a little green over here. Yeah, I'll leave the well go ahead and that's all right. See what it is is whenever it's green like that, mm -hmm. it probably cross pollinated with a zucchini. So it's fine. But whenever they cross pollinate with a zucchini, then a lot of times they'll turn green. Or if the zucchini cross pollinates with a squash, it'll turn a little bit yellow. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And all this rain has started brought more squash yeah, plants see. up. These still over here, just a very few. Here. But it may be a little bit of time. Go bring before. these to your nana. Whoop. Bring that to your nana. Here's a squash plant. I'm sorry, this is zucchini. And so we've got some rain over the weekend and new plants are starting to come up where we planted them. And those seeds have set in the ground for what, a month and a half now? Yeah, look at the difference. There's one there. That's what, I think that's squash, that's squash. Look at the difference in the plants though. Squash. That initially. And then these here are the ones that came up right after we planted. So the harvest will be spread out a little bit, which will be good. All Christy's doing is snapping the ends of them off. This is what, maybe a third of what we take today. Let's say this was some type of end of society event and you had your garden and you're probably saying, well, you're not going to have fresh water to wash the stuff off with and then to cook with. Well, you really don't need a lot of fresh water. You just need it to be somewhat clean, get the dirt out of it, get the mosquito larvae out of it, stuff like that. Because you're going to boil the beans for a little while to soften them up to eat. So as you're boiling them, you're going to be killing any parasites, bacteria, viruses that's in the water anyway. So you just build yourself a fire outside on the wood burning stove, barbecue pit, whatever. Boil the beans, soften them up, be ready to eat. Yeah. Christy added some bacon to these green beans earlier. Go. Fresh snap beans right out of the garden. Just add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Season them so that they taste good. My little hot pocket on the side, but oh well. 